Welcome to the lectures on transportation engineering, C4 by 5. Today's lecture we will learn about the harbors. First of all, let's see what is the meaning of harbor, or what is the definition. That it is nothing but it is a basin, or to say it is a heaven also. But we can say that it is a rolling sea of a navigable water which needs to be well protected. If we can protect it either naturally or uh, sometimes we can see that on the sea floor or somewhere else if the rock or stones are available then it will be protected naturally or we have to use some protective guards to protect it just because of as we can see that so many winds come so as this will wind come and will hit the soil that uh, then there will be a problem of soil is also. So we need to protect them so it is either it may be protected which may be either it may be naturally protected it may be artificially from the action of wind, that's what we are seeing from the action of wind and where and that is situated along the sea so that is called the harbor. So what is the harbor? It is nothing but it is a basin or it is a heaven that is rod steel of navigable water, well protected naturally or artificially from the action of wind and where and it is situated along the sea shores, that is the harbor. Then we have the next term that is we have used and it is a basin, next that we have the next term that is a basin. What it is? It is nothing but it is a water reservoir area which is water reservoir of the required area for the navigation. That is what the basin, but it is there is condition that when it will be said to be navigable, that it is said to be navigable if the depth of the water in the basin is greater than the drift required for the ship. So, what is the meaning of drift? This is the next definition. We will have to learn. Suppose this is the sea level and there is a ship which is floating on this, so there will be something uh, there if this uh, ship will immerse into the water for certain uh, height so this that is if suppose this is uh, immerse this much in the, in the sea water so this is what this is nothing but the linear immersion linear or to say linear vertical immersion This linear vertical immersion of this ship into the water which is required for the ship to float in the stable condition that is known as the drift. And then what is the basin? It is not wet, it is a water reservoir of the required area, and there is a condition that when it is said to be navigable, that it is said to be navigable when the depth of water in the basin. Suppose this is the depth of water in the basin. If this depth of water in the basin, if it is more than the threat, then it is said to be navigable. Otherwise, this uh, if the uh, depth of the water in the basin is less than the drift available, then it will not provide the stable condition for the movement of the ship. And in that situation, this basin, in that situation, that basin cannot be used for the navigation purposes. So what is the basin? It is a water reservoir of the required area. This is said to be navigable if the depth of the water in the basin is greater than the depth of drift required. And what is the drift? It is vertical linear immersion of the ship in the, uh, below the water surface which is required for the float in the stable condition that is the drift. Then we have the sea harbour of this storm is nothing but the sea harbour. What is the meaning of the sea harbour? A harbour which is situated along the seashore. A harbour which is situated along the seashore will be called along the seashore will be called the sea harbour while a harbour which is situated along the river shore that will be called the river harbour. So we have two types of harbour, one is sea harbour and other is river harbour. A harbour which is situated along the uh, seashore is sea harbour and a harbour along the river shore that is the river harbour. So here we have one more term that is breakwater. What is the meaning of this breakwater? There are nothing but the protective barriers. Fine, they are constructed to enclose the harbour. What is the purpose? What is the breakwater? The uh, breakwaters, it is nothing but the protective barriers which are constructed to close the, to or to say to enclose the harbour. So what is the purpose of this? Then, what is the purpose of providing this breakwater? We can see that water is attracted by the moon effect as well as due to the wind blowing, the water will not, water will, there will be a formation in the sea. 
and as there will be wave formation, water will be in disturbed condition. And on the harbor, we have the harbor basin, isn't it? For the loading and unloading operation, we generally construct the harbor basin. And if the water, and uh, in the, the, even within the sea, if there is a uh, strong wave formation, there is a tide formation, then the water will not be in calm condition. It will be undisturbed water. And this undisturbed water will create a problem during the loading and unloading of the cargo, during the loading and unloading from the vessels, or to say, from the ships, so that we don't want the water in disturbed condition within the harbor basin. We want the water in the undisturbed situation. We want the water to be calm situation. So for that, to break the momentum of water due to which is uh, uh, and, uh, to break the momentum of water, which is created due to the heavy winds, these breakwaters are generally constructed. So what it is, you will see here. They are nothing but the protective barriers which are constructed to enclose the harbour and to keep the harbour water undisturbed by the effect of heavy and strong wave from the undisturbed from the effect of heavy and strong wave and as well as also to break the momentum of water so that easily we can load and unload we can perform the loading and unloading of operation of the cargo then here the next one that is the port what it is it is a place where the vessel may discharge or receive the cargoes it may be a entire harbour including its approach and encourages or the commercial part of the harbour where the keys, bars, facility or the facility for the transfer of cargo, docks and repair of shops and repair shops are available that is port means it will be a fully developed harbour it, it will be a commercial a fully developed harbour which can be used for the commercialized purposes as well as we will be having the facility of keys what it is, what is the meaning of this keys for us this, this we will learn in the subsequent slide uh, in the subsequent slide here as well as this uh, uh, port is also supposed to provide the facilities of transporting the cargo that is the loading and unloading the cargo as well as that it, it must provide the dock it may be either wet dock or it may be the dry docks also it must have the repairing facility that means to say it must be uh, it must be provided with the repairing shops so that if there is a problem in the vessel, they can be repaired. So this is the port. We will try to see a layout of port. Vessels. 
so that pressure remains in its position. Otherwise, due to disturbance in the water, you won't find it at the seashore. You won't find it. Uh, if you, 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 you may find that the vessel has starting moving, or you can find it that it has gone, it has gone out, uh, it has gone out of the harbor basin, or sometimes due to waste, it will be hitting the the shore. So therefore, it does need to be tied when it comes to the shore, so that for the purpose, the border is provided, so it, the vessel will be tied to this border, so that these vessels will remain in its own positions. These are defenders. These are nothing but they are also protective barriers. We are provided in between the seashore as well as within the vessels. What is the purpose? To protect the shore. Because when they will be coming to this area, these vessels may fit the may hit the shore, then it will be uh, then there will be damages to the shore. So to uh, to prevent this uh, uh, to prevent other heat or to prevent uh, these damages or to take the precautions uh, to take these precautions, we generally provide these vendors so that even though if these vessels will hit, then they will get first the fender vendors and there will be no damages to the shore. For this, they are nothing but the frontal boats. These frontal boats used to be two third in the water. Right? One third is above the water surface. This is like what used to be. Then we have the next keys. Then 
We have to provide this gear so that sufficient is definitely we can provide the loading and unloading operations. Then we have the PL hat which was provided it will provide the channel for the entry at the harbour within that is it is a snowshore at the tip of the breakwater near the harbour entrance. It helps in demarcating clearly the approach channel. Then we have the next slip. What it will be we will take
and it need to go out for this. It just can take a 360 degree turn freely within the hardware space which is available and that will be called the facility turning. So here we have the two types of facility. One is called the free turning facility. That we are saying if there is sufficient area is available for turning the ship within a 360 degree then it will be called the free turning. If there is a restriction for the area, there will be no free uh, there will be restriction for the area for a free turning, then somehow we will uh, provide the turning operation that will be called the restricted turning. That is called the restricted turning. So one is free turning, another one is the restricted turning. As well as the repairing facility, it is need to be provided to port so that if there is some problem in the uh, shape or the position, then sir, it will be repaired there only. So there are some of the facilities which is which are mandatorily to be provided at the harbor. Now we see the different layouts of the harbor. They are nothing but the birds which are provided here. Both sides will be the square size, with the size of both the sides will remain the same. This is the square layout. They are the birth facility which are provided, they are the birth structure or the birth which are provided for the loading and reloading operation. But one advantage of this square is that it may provide the free turning facility. If the R is the radius of R is the length, the R is the length of uh, ship or the vessel, then it can be considered as the radius. One of the advantages of the square layout that it can provide the free turning. We are not saying that it will always provide the free turning, but it may provide the free turning. In uh, most of the cases, the square layout may provide the free turning. But the key is will be small for this. What is the key is? It is the ratio of length of the birth to 
total length of the right angle to write the total length of the bar. This is the ratio of total length of the bar to the area of armor basin. This is called the key is in this generally key is is little bit less than in the case of vascular layout.
if it will be in this position, then it can go something like this. So there will be something to four moment. Sometimes it has to take uh, ahead, sometimes it has to take back. As well as it has to turn to the 90 degree perpendicular and it has to do so many operations for the turning. So this kind of turning is called the restricted turning. If the gear is provided in the center, in the rectangular layout, then the uh, restricted turning is the only one solution. This is the rectangular layout uh, with the central gear. Here we can see here, then the birth may be provided. As per the planning and design, the birth may be provided. Which is the three turning layout? We can see very easily the three turning provides the three turning, and that also at the two places is provided in the certain by uh, all the side. It can provide the three turning at the two places. It is the harbor dressing lever. We have provided both at so many places here. This kind of layout is called the three turning layout. And here the last one that is the digital layout. The digital layout is now always. Uh, very popular and basically most of the places we are preparing this kind of digital layout because of its importance and the advantages. The last one that is the digital layout. What it is? Before leaving from the other side, so they have to 
before there should be post remove in a semicircular channel before exit. So it is not we are not providing any kind of returning here, but even though there will be there is no problem in turning, they will have to keep on moving. What we are and they have to move in a semicircular area, generally we provide. So what we are doing by doing is we have improved the key is we have improved the key is just because of the we have reduced the hardware basin area so that the key is has improved in this way in this way. Generally it is provided in the semicircular direction only. If you can know then as a whatever shift they are coming, they may go in this direction. These are nothing but the work here. The dogs are generally provided, the weight dogs or dry dogs. And you keep on moving. And they may come out. So they are the digital layout, the digital layout, which is generally preferred nowadays. So this is so they are different types of layout what we have discussed in this harbor. Thank you.